Hello everybody, welcome back. Judicious Fire, and I am on the iOS server. It is day one of the Warden Challenge. We are taking on the, uh, what are we taking on? The Brawler Warden. Uh, the Brawler Warden is going to do a disgusting 80% smash to two of our heroes. Has a 60% uh, 60, damage cap. Immune to the following. Silence. Stun, Fear, Energy Reduction. Silence, Stun, Fear, Energy Reduction. Now things in this game, and you know, it's, you have to run experiments. Stun is different than Coma. And Coma is different than Paralyze. And Paralyze is different than Freeze. So there are ways, perhaps, to get around that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, this is the team I'm running. I'm running Michael with a Wicked Armor, Healing Pet, Sunder for some extra hits. This is early in the week. I want to do as much damage as I can against this guy as possible. I want to really cut through as many Wardens as I can here first day. I'm not going to be doing this later in the week. It's going to be too much damage. Uh, I'm going to lead with Mike. Got a nice deflect. Sass, Wicked Armor, Sunder, Chickaboom. Sass will freeze. Freeze is not stun. Athene, big attack speed boost, just like Mike. I can't cause more than 60,000 damage against this guy, so I have to hit him as often as possible. Uh, purse a lot, really mostly uh, for the damage, uh, the guaranteed damage. It's not a percentage pet. Dove. Only in the very beginning stages am I going to use Dove. Uh, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Dove is, Dove is too much. Sunder, Brawler's Favor. Uh, punching Box. Kaz. Wicked Armor. I'm not running the Wicked Armor on Dove because you got a damage cap. I'm not too worried. Uh, Revite. Immediate bubble. Piblob. Reduce the accuracy of the Warden. Cause will paralyze. Different than Stun. Ghoulam. Wicked Armor. Havoc to reduce the attack speed of the Warden. Sunder for some extra hits. Bring me back to Mike. Now, on Sass, show you my uh, enchantments and whatnot. Uh, uh, location, much easier. Okay, so on uh, Ghoul, I got a burning plate. Only at the start do I do this. It's too much later. Little dodge, little accuracy. Energy sap. All health. I'm going to skip sass. Energy sap. Dodge. Accuracy. Health. Pyre mage. Mostly attack. I would use him in arch demon. I'm not changing anything there. Uh, back in here. Dove. Pyre Mage. I run a crit dove primarily. With three crit enchantments, uh, traits. And crit's not going to help me in this game. Right? But with uh, three of those run. She got 12, 18 crit. I just, <laughs> I just love my dove, dove keeper. Love my crit dove keeper. Uh, all right. And uh, last but not least, Sass. I'm going to start with Sass today just by himself on the first warden. I'm going to do so in the experiment. I'm going to try Divine Templar. Uh, when he's attacked, Divine Templar, forget all this nonsense. Okay, he's going to inflict coma for two out of five seconds. 
against the enemy. Coma, I think, is different than stun. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if it works. Uh, am I ready with my team? Is everybody got a pet? Everybody got all, all they have? need right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I got my, yeah, I got that. I got my insta proc on cause. Yada, yada. Now I go on to uh, this, it is Forge. One of the Avengers of Warden Slain, one of the one of the true uh, committed players in this game. I mean, this man had five wardens, zero damage. So he's got another attack, at least that. If he was somehow able to cut through all of Warden Four on one attack, I don't know if he did. But he's probably got at least one attack one. So he's waiting as some kind of a mind game on others. And I, I'm willing to play along. I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, let's see here. Make sure I made my team. That's my whole, all my buddies. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a. Let's see here. I want to lead with um, Sass to see if Divine Templar actually does anything against this, this weirdo. He got killed so quick, I can't even tell. It's terrible. Alright, that didn't work. Uh, let's try... I'm gonna keep it on him and see what happens. Maybe if I can stick him in the team, amongst the team, he won't get destroyed immediately. All right, let's see here. Uh, normal attack now. Uh, lead with Mike. Come in with, uh, I guess, Dove next. Yeah, yeah, like it. Okay, normal attack. I'm gonna leave with Mike. And come in with with uh I should do Cosmo a second. And it's such a fireworks display against these guys. You can't tell what's operating or not. I said it before. A nice readout screen in the top right-hand corner letting me know the positive and negative statuses that are happening in combat. Nice readout screen in the left-hand corner letting me know what individual damage is being done by the six heroes listed right there. Cumulative as well. Bingo. Done. But uh, nothing. Just, just a magma background. It's the magma zone. Eh, it looks like a, actually like a mountainous region. Let's see. Is our friend Dove going to get killed? Let's go back. Where's Dove? Here she is. Mm. Give her a chance to heal up a little bit without having to change anything else. But where am I? Go back in here. All right, I got this. Got all this. Okay, challenge. All right, we're on 30. Well, he with Mike. Come in with cause. All 
Now that survival will kick in in a second on the dove. She really seems to be the source of, uh, of the attacks. Somebody really doesn't like this dove. See how we're doing on time. We need to reach by one minute and thirty seconds the midway point of health on this arch or on this uh, warden. It looks like we're going to be able to do that. I would even be so bold as to say that when it comes to these three-minute timer encounters with big bad bosses, you could reach midway health by a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock because that first 10 seconds is the drop time as well as the rev up time on your team and they're already revving at one minute and 30 seconds in and we're well past midway point so as long as we don't start losing guys we'll be up to four I'm not going to play it conservatively. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to launch into this uh, Demon 40. This Warden 40. Uh, basically with the same team I have right now. Because Forge is up to, to 50. So it serves me no good to play it conservatively. What am I going to do? Just, just prevent myself from losing even more? No. You got to go for it. You got to run hot. It's like Tom Cruise and Top Gun. It's like Maverick. <laughs> you know, he never said, I'm trying for second. Anyway. Uh, we're going to run the same team. Yes, yeah, run the same team. Why the heck not? We're probably going to get crushed. All right, let's challenge. 40. 40 big boss. Start with Mike. Rest of the gang. Mike out here. Boom. Rest of the gang. Okay, watch my dove. Please, dove, stay alive. Please, dove, stay alive. Come on, get some heals in, dove. Get that survival working. Get that golem proc going. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, we're running hot. I'm kicking it the highway to the danger zone, baby. Blast him past Iceman, whether it be on the volleyball court. <laughs> 25,000 feet in the sky. Going all the way. Forge is my Iceman. Stick with this whole, uh, whole Top Gun parallel. Okay, what do we got? We are not going to cut through Warden. 40. In one attack that is that is painfully obvious we're gonna come right up shy we're gonna come to like four four ten out of 500 million I believe it's 500 million cumulative damage on this uh, total health pool on this on this bad boy I think we're gonna come to 410 I tell you starting off for, for this uh, warden challenge I was a little overwhelmed by the number of uh, heroes that you can use these days, you know? There's so many to choose from. There's so many great ones. I could have used Arctica. Would have been a wonderful uh, use it, uh, of uh, Arctica. Freezes. That's not stun. Could use Storm Eater. Fantastic DPS, but he stuns. So I was a little reticent to use a storm meter, but my gosh, he would be just smashing everybody. 
He's probably a better person to use than Dove uh, later on. Because I don't want these heals that I'm producing to be uh, going out to those Love Doves later in the challenge. And right now it's not really a, an issue. Okay, so we're at halfway point of the Warden's health. And we're only at 40 seconds remaining on the clock. So we'll, we're going to be, I think, okay in beating this Warden using our second challenge. Leaving us where Forge is with one more attack to do. And we'll see. Maybe I want to want to do that. <laughs> Maybe I always want to. I want to chill for the rest of the day, right next to Forge, right next to Ice Man. Chilling next to Ice Man. Do an overbite chomp in his direction. You know what I mean? Like in the locker room scene, Psh, conveys everything. All right, where are we? Probably didn't get to 410. Probably got to like 325. Uh, where are we here? 350. Okay. Four demons defeated in 350. Still got another attack that puts us into second. We just need to recreate what we did. No, but it's not greedy. There's no no cause in it. You stop when you get to the end of the warden. To, to put up any more damage is not going to help me. Okay, so let's go to challenge 40. I'm gonna start with Mike, then we're gonna go uh, cause. I need some heals now. I need some heals, team. Yeah, we're coming for you. Dove Keepers, Mike Kelly McGillis. Here we go. Beat on that warden. At the end of this entire challenge, uh, those who are lucky enough uh, to uh, place in the top 10 will receive one level 9 talent rune. So if I should be so lucky, I'm not saying I will be. My gosh, no. I, I could be top 100 at the end of seven days of this uh, this warden slaying. This <laughs> uphill battle. Pushing the rock uphill, having it roll back down again. This is this Greek tragedy at the end of this week. I will, hopefully, <laughs> if I'm so blessed to be in the top 10, I will receive one level 9 talent room. I just do this 10 times in a row, <laughs> you know, over the next 20 weeks. And I could change one of uh, one of my uh, level 8 talents uh, to level 9. just want to give a big shout out to the, to the programmers. We're coming to the end of this warden, but we got it. One minute left on the clock done still not there we go look out four rosaline soul stones sheesh okay so we're we're at five and zero tied with forge hey, we want to play mind games with uh, ice man and just leave it at this no we don't want to do that that's that's terrible he put up the score and you just walk away just, you never argue with anybody in this game you just you put up the score, <laughs> you'll walk away. You say, I good luck to you, friend. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so forge our dear man. What are we gonna what, 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 what? Are we gonna get smashed on this level? I'm gonna keep it to the same team. Because I have no way of knowing what this next uh, level is going to do to this team until I find out. It's my last attack. Be able to attack again. Start with Mike. Same drop order. Then cause the rest of the game. Well, 
put Mike far out because there's no way I'm going to get through even a smidgen of this guy in three minutes. Put Mike far out safely, drop cause in the rest of the game. Okay, I need a heal on Dove. Come on, Fennec Pet. Come on, Ghoul. Come on, Dove Survival. Is that the only healing I got going on, on this team? I believe so, yes. We got White Warden on our side. White Warden is going to produce a... Uh, eh, it's, a it's a defensive effect of all the Warden factions. Could give you a, a damage reduction. Eh, things of that nature. I have to look at it, but it's all uh, all defense related. And the Red Warden is a attack related, you know, attack speed, attack boost. And the Green's gonna silence and give you a nice uh, nice heal. You might find Green Warden to be the most effective in combat. Silence the team, give yourself a heal. I think it raises your accuracy as well. And in terms of base damage against the opponents, it does this massive. Uh, amount more 60 percent of their health to four whereas uh the red uh, only attacks three and uh the white attacks four yes but as a, at a lower uh base damage than the uh, green so i like to run green teams whenever i can where are we going to be when this ends probably halfway I'm really surprised that this particular team has uh, made it so far. I'm running hot. I'm running all through. <laughs> enough with the Top Gun. <laughs> no, enough with that. <laughs> do another. Who's going to do a thruster joke? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, but I'm running hot. When it comes to these things like uh, Archdemon and the Wardens, either I put up a relatively uh, uh, good score or I turn to dust. <laughs> you know, it's one or the other. It's a coin flip. This is I I live on the razor's edge when it comes to these attacks. I'm very impressed with this team. Very impressed. Yeah, there are others I can use. I can use a Spirita. Should be two two attackers in one. I can use Rowdy Rascal. He'd be two attackers in one. We also have a higher survivability than some of the guys I'm using here. So I might use them a little later in the week. Yeah, it's a whole different, uh, whole, whole different routine. Can't really ever tell if that uh, darn uh, divine templar doing anything. I have no idea. This is, look at this. So many animations. You have no idea. I'm. Can I get to halfway so I can tell myself I just need to recreate what I did already? Probably not. Yeah, I should have. Don't let me. Come up tomorrow, a couple mil short. Now yeah, about halfway through. I can cook up a little bit more. Put that brawler's favorite back on, on my uh, Kelly McGillis on my uh, dove. Am I done for the day? Oh, that's horrible. He can't do anything. All right. Well, we're in first by three hundred and thirty-two million. But but, Forge has yet to do his last attack. Uh, so he has to put up more than three, 332. And I am, I'm going to make a prediction that Forge is going to do 338. He's going to do 6 million more damage in this next attack. Just to, just to get me. Uh, great job to the Avengers of Warden Slaying. Uh, it is always the same names up there on the big, uh, the big board. Shorty, Lally, Sully, Tevik, Prospect. Dark Exo, it's Dark Zome. They're all fantastic names. Great players. Kroll. Kalyan. Unexus. And you know the folks like uh, Thundermite and the, and the, it's God of Darkness. He's probably got another tech. Folks like, uh, you know, William Jojan and Thundermite, they're all going to be coming up on here. Shinkiro. Shinkiro hasn't even. Shinkiro hasn't even polished his warden kicking boots yet, okay? This is how early in the day I'm attacking. Uh, Shinkiro is going to be putting it up uh, later on. Uh, I'll check you on the next uh, warden challenge video. I hope you all enjoy your clashing and you have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.